Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Right, I've got this coffee table. I've had this for over 30 years. I brought it when my middle son was a newborn and he's just turned 30 not that long ago. Uh, so it's had 30 years of hard wear and tear and it's been um, polished quite a few times with the beeswax. So the wax is ingrained in the, the wood. So my first job is to try and get rid of all that wax out of the wood. You can see there just by scraping it comes off your nail. So I got my carbide scraper and I went ahead and did the whole table with that and it just peeled off layers and layers of old wax. legs and everywhere else. Gave it the once over all over. There's no point in trying to sand when you've got wax on your wood because it's just going to clog your sander. So I just started with a 80 grit. There are some quite deep scratches on the top of the coffee table so yeah start with an 80 grit and then work your way up to 240. I plan on painting the sides and the legs and staining the top. Just get rid of that dust with a microfiber cloth. And then attack those legs with a bit of sandpaper. So my last sanding was with the 240, just to smooth out that the roughness of the sandpaper before it. So I just mask off the top so I don't get any paint on the top. And I just use newspaper and masking tape. One more go with the wax and grease remover. Some of that stain on the rag is just the stain coming out of the wood, it's not the wax. So I'm pretty sure at this stage that I've got rid of all the wax. Just mask the 
bottoms of the feet because I don't want those painted. So it's going on my carpet and I don't think it's a good idea to paint the bottom. So now I'm just going to give the coffee table a coat of Zinza Bin spray undercoat. And this has a stain blocker on it. So it'll help prevent staining coming through on my paint because I'm going to be using a light coloured paint. I'm going to make sure that, that the stains do not come through the paint. So I have this colour here, um, champagne. I'm just adding that a little bit to um, a picket fence that I had. It's um, a fusion mineral paint. I just wanted to take the starkness out of the um, the picket fence because it was quite quite white, bright, and this just toned it down just a little bit. And went ahead and painted the whole sides of the table and the legs. Fusion mineral paint seems to self level quite well, so I just use my paintbrush. This is the stain I'm using. It's Feast Watson with the colour Oak. Um, I put it on and it just seemed a bit orange to me. So I wasn't really happy with that. So continued anyway. 
better cover the whole thing and see what it looks like when it dries. So there it is, and yeah, it's pretty orange. Pretty scratched up and well used. In desperate need of a makeover, I think. And here it is now. So this is just a quick, nice, easy makeover for anyone that's just starting out. Just make sure you do your prep well. Wash, sand, prime, paint, bit of stain, bit of polyurethane. And hey, presto. Let me know in the comments what you think. Hey, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.